Hello, friends. Do you even recognize me anymore? Probably not because I've been gone for half of my life. I was gone at first because I was I was like planning to make this really great vid, but I wanted to be like really dramatic and just be disappeared from YouTube for a little bit and then like post the greatest vid ever. And then you guys would be my friends, but apparently I suck because I never finished the video because I decided to die instead. Let me tell you the tale. A couple of weeks ago, I noticed a great pain in my face. Specifically, part of my face was the tongue. It swelled up. So big that it was getting cut by my teeth. These guys. Getting cut by my teeth. Well, it's still a little bit swollen. But it was excruciating pain. So I couldn't really talk that much. And so I didn't want to be like, I don't want to sound like a freaking idiot. So I was like, screw that. I'm going to make a blog. I'm just going to sit at home and cry and feel bad for myself. But everyone was saying, Warren, go to the doctor. Girl, you need to see a doctor because you can't just keep diagnosing yourself off of WebMD and trying to eat herbal supplements to cure yourself. And I was like, guys, I don't believe in doctors. Why don't I believe in doctors? Because I've had some bad experiences with doctors. And also because you have to pay money to go to doctors. And wherever money's involved, there is also corruption. Listen, I studied a lot of communist theory, so... That probably changed my views on life, and so that's one of the reasons that I don't like to go, but whatever. I read books. It changed me. I'm admitting it, so whatever. Anyways, I'm like, I'm not going to the doctor. I'll, I'll heal it myself. So I started gargling some, like, hydrogen peroxide, drinking some teas, trying to he heal myself, and the tongue swelling went down. It didn't stop, but it went down after a week. My grandma was calling me, and she's like, you really ought to go into the doctor because you might have diabetes. I don't even eat sugar, really. So I probably don't have diabetes. But what I do have? An excruciating pain. Back here. Right back here. In my teeth. This ha this started four days ago. On the first day. I, you know, it, my tongue had just stopped. But then I noticed this. Probably because the tongue was, you know, was making me not think about this. It's, it's killing me. It's hurting so bad. So I'd get out my, my dental mirror, turn on the light. Well, I saw something. What did I see? My wisdom tooth, one of the four that I own because I never got mine removed because I don't believe in it because I believe that the doctors are lying to me to get my $500 per tooth or whatever the shit they charge you for that crap. Never got them taken out. Well, this one, instead of growing down, grew poking my cheek. But it's not my cheek that's inflamed. That I would understand. It would be like my teeth kind of rubbing against my cheek. You know, whatever. I put some wax on it like the kids do for their braces and all would be good and it would be a dandy time. That's not what's happening. I got the mirror. All right. I'm putting my mirror back here. Uh, I was looking at, you know, can you understand me? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I got the mirror back and I like, you know, it really hurt, but I was kind of, I wanted to see what was happening. There's like a there's like an abscess. There's like a hole behind, like in the back of my gums. Listen, I've never had a cavity in my life. I've never had any dental work done besides cleaning. And guess what? I haven't been to the dentist in four years because I've been cleaning my teeth myself. They look kind of like corn, but other than that, they're pretty good. This actually sucks to have corn teeth, but I think it's because I drank too much coffee. Whatever. I don't care. Judge me if you want. So anyways, I see this abscess and I start crying because like, listen, one of my number one fears is like getting work done on my teeth because I'm really particular about just teeth, you know, like they freak, I just don't like thinking about teeth. It just kind of creeps me out, you know, they're, cause they're like a permanent thing. You know, we can't just change our teeth out. We are not like sharks if you haven't noticed. So I'm, I'm sobbing because I realize I'm going to have to go to the dentist, but I don't have money. I don't have insurance. I don't have a vehicle. So I'm sobbing, like afraid. Like mostly I'm sobbing because I'm scared because I think they're gonna tell me to get my tooth out. And that means they're probably gonna have to anesthetize me and they're probably gonna have to like give me shots. Oh, I'm freaking out. Like I can't, I can't think of this. I'm panicking. Guys, I'm actually panicking. This isn't a joke. Like I'm really freaking the shit out. So I had to make this blog to just, can somebody tell me I'm not going to die? 
can somebody assure me that I probably won't die from this? Because I have to go to the dentist tomorrow. But anyways, I'm sobbing and crying. And I call my mommy. <laughs> and I'm like, mom, can you take me to the dentist? I'm really scared and I don't have a car. Help. So she said she'd take me. So my mom's coming to pick me up at 8 a.m. tomorrow. And we're going to the dentist. But it's in, like an emergency dentist. Sorry, I'm getting a little, I'm crying a little bit. So I'm wiping my snot. Wipe my tears too. <laughs> so I'm going to the dentist tomorrow morning. But they said, I have no appointment, so I just kind of have to wait there. I'm going to bring Game of Thrones book five. I got book five. It came in the mail two days ago because I finished book four. So fucking good. Book three is my favorite, but I'm on book five now. So it actually won't be that bad. But like, I'm just trying to not think about the fact that what if they tell me that this abscess is like blood poisoning and that I have 90 minutes to live? What if they tell me that I've got mouth cancer and I have to stop drinking coffee because I got... Co well, that would probably be stupid. Does that even happen? I drink a lot of coffee. But what if, like, I don't know. I'm just really scared about this. I've never had to get anything done on my face, and I don't want them messing with me. <laughs> don't laugh at me, Alex! He's been laughing at me this whole time. <sighs> yeah, but he's also been supporting me. He's a good boy. Okay. Telling you to go. I know that you want me to go, but I'm just afraid. Guys, I'm going to the dentist tomorrow. And I haven't been to the dentist in four years. <laughs> but really, am I gonna... Like, is this okay? Someone... I just need some reassurance. Anybody that has had their wisdom teeth out, can you just tell me that it's not that bad? But if it is really bad, don't tell me, because I already know that it's gonna suck. <laughs> I'll make a better video later, but I have to go cry now. Bye.